Love Bites. Love Bites. Well, ain't much more to say than that. New album comes out February the 23rd. Excited. And this is, I think they're, someone said the third single. I would think it was their second. I've only heard one song, so if I'm missing one, let me know. But mm -hmm. I read earlier, this is their third release off of the album coming out. I just want to hear it. The girls are impressive. Last time they went power metal on me, I like the thrash version of them more than I do the power metal, but I'll, I'll take both. I'll take either. But I'm hoping this one will be a little more of the thrash in so let's find out. Let's do this. <clears throat> we don't have a video, so I'm just going to show like people doing cool stuff and <laughs> monster hits just to, for you guys. Just to fill in the, the absent boy. Being, we're not going to get to see anything. Damn. Well, I got my wish. Went back to like old flops of the and That little drummer. Yeah, she's a little off. Very hard, kiss to Dude, my wrist hurts just listening to this. Yeah. They got this motion down hard. Yeah. That is what like. <laughs> You get it. <laughs> if you know, you know. Oh. That's even a Slayer-esque solo. Which means it's a guitar girl, right? Like, that goes off like that. This took a big Megadeth turn on it. The solo to this part. I don't like that. I've heard that somewhere. Yeah. Like a crash. Very mini Paul. Makes me just want to go work my hair. <laughs> now they're going Dragon Force on me. Cool mix.
much as their wrist has to be just solid to do those guitar riffs, that little drummer on that hi hat. Damn. Damn. God. Yeah, that was, and I know I hear it all the time. You know, you can't compare Love Bike and Clay <laughs> to other, other bands. Okay. Okay. You know that's a true story. You just can't do that because they don't sound like any of those other bands, okay? I don't feel like Mr. Mackey to Dr. Phil. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's like this is like a melt. <laughs> but yeah, there were Slayer esque moments. Oh yeah. Early, early in the song. It re something reminded me of Flotsam and Jets and the rest of the song really didn't, but it that opening part, I don't know what it was, but it brought me back to 1980s thrash Flotsam and Jets and that was sick. I mean, the and stamina. And this cover art is just freaking amazing. The stamina. Yeah. So much stamina. I mean, it's amazing to me. That, that little drummer, her cadences with that, especially with, because she counts her metronomes with this right hand on that hi-hat. She'll go to the crash, and I love that. It sounded great when she did that, yeah. but I was paying attention to her doing the timing on the hi-hat. Man, she got to be, that's going to be strong, Jack. Strong. That girl's tearing that kid's ass up. Talented girls, I don't know what else to say. I mean, we've seen enough of them to where you don't have to convince us. Yeah, we know that they're great. We don't need convincing. They are amazing, we agree. <laughs> if I had anything negative to say about the song, which really there's not... Not it, much to say negative. The vocals were a little screechy, maybe. I mean, they fit. It wasn't her, her best performance. We've heard other stuff where she just kills it. It just seems like the live stuff is always better. And we get now why you guys want us to see live stuff. Because it's just amazing. I just don't think she had the room to really open her voice up in this song because it was so fast paced yeah. and tempoed out. So It didn't really show her full she ability. Didn't get to, yeah, she didn't get to showcase. I mean, that's essentially what I mean. It wasn't that she did a bad job in any way. It just wasn't. This wasn't her song. This wasn't the one for her to stand out. This was the song to let the drums stand out. Mm -hmm. And those, like she said, those two guitar solos started off as a Carrie King just shred yeah. fest, and then it just kind of diluted into, and I'm, I'm assuming this is where it changed guitarist. But the second guitar solo reminded me just straight up of, of Marty Friedman or even Kiko Lorraine from Megadeth. Dang. Just, it was smooth. Yeah, talented. Don't know what else to say, guys. Appreciate you sitting through it and watching the video with us. And I hope you enjoyed your mosh pits and amazing people stuff that I put up there for amazing you. Amazing people stuff. I did that for you because we had to sit and look at a picture. Like, share. Subscribe. Do the thing. Do the thing. And until the next time, guys, as always, come at me, bro.